Hi guys, this is Julia and today I want to show you how I'm using chalk pastels on craft paper using a stamp by Stamping Bella. And I have to, I cannot emphasize enough that I'm a total novice, novice when it comes to using chalk pastels. I'm using chalk pastels called Carbotello, they are by the company Stabilo. And, um, you know, if you have uh, pastels in like in stick, as a stick, um, as a rectangular stick, that's completely fine. Try those. These are basic um, chalk pastels just in pencil form. You know, they're like easier to hold uh, that way. Um, as I said, I'm a total novice when it comes to that. I am learning as I go and uh, I'm just sharing uh, my technique uh, as I've developed it so far. I've only been using them for a month or so. So please don't take my word as gospel. Look up other artists on YouTube if you're interested in this technique and see what they're doing because maybe I'm doing something wrong. Who knows? But this so far this has worked for me. What I'm doing here is similar to when I use colored pencils like Polychromos or Prismos. I'm working in layers. I found that blending um, a darker color onto a lighter color is much easier than going the other way around. That's why I've started with the white. And now I'm working my way towards the darkest gray or even black. And uh, I'm putting down the color here always in the shadow areas where it would be darkest. And I'm using a paper stump to blend the color out. This paper stump does not have any fluid on it. So it's there. there's no gamsol or zested or whatever. This is just a dry paper stump that I'm using. And I'm using light circle emotions and I'm not pressing down too hard so I won't damage the paper. And all that I'm doing here is simply blending out the color and slowly building up my color. Now, there is another thing that you should know about the chalk pastels. They are very easy to smear, which is great if you want to use a paper stump with them. But if you accidentally, uh, you know, move your hand over what you've colored, you might um, smear the paper. So uh, try to work not <laughs> on top of what you've just colored. And also, since there are chalks, um, usually you have like little crumbs of chalk that are just laying on the paper. I um, blow them off. I just huff on it, you know, Darth Vader style all the time, like, <gasps> <laughs> then I just blow it off to the side. Um, you could see me here, I have actually applied a few colors without blending um, uh, between them. And now at the very end, I'm blending them out. I'm going from light to dark, so I can make sure that I won't um, pull the dark out too far. And that's how I'm going to color the entire image. Now I'm going to apply a few more layers here. So I'm going to play some music for you, but the principle is always the same. Work in layers and then use the blending stump to blend. I'll catch you on the flip side so we can look at the finished card.
I hope you've enjoyed watching the coloring process. It takes some time, but it's absolutely worth it, and the results are stunning. Now, I hope you can see it on this card while I'm adhering some sequins by Pretty Pink Posh. I've sprayed the entire thing first with hairspray to set the chalk so it wouldn't smudge, and after that, I sprayed it with Perfect Pearls. Um, and that gives it this amazing shimmer and glitter. I just love it. I've intensified the eyes here with a glaze pen just because the chalk is opaque and it can cover up some details and that's why I'm coming in with my Copic multi-liner here as well and adding back some of the detail that might have gotten lost. So here, here you can see the shimmer that you get by spraying it with the perfect pearls. I was absolutely delighted. You have to spray your chalk piece with something else first though to set it. As I said, I'm using hairspray. Um, because if you just spray it with water and um, perfect pearls, it will run. These chalk pastels will react with water. So it's important to set it first. Um, but I'm absolutely delighted how this turned out. As I said, I'm still a beginner. There's probably a lot I can do to improve this, but I'm really, really happy how this came out. And I just like the effect on craft because it just looks, um, the colors are very vibrant and, um, you know, vibrant colors on craft cardstock is just something that I always find fascinating. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think. And if you've liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Catch you again soon. Bye-bye.